Hi everyone, uh, travel addict guy here, and I'm in the CPF in Porto. It is called the Portuguese Center of Photography. It's free to come in here, guys, and this used to be the former Relacao prison. This was the former prison of Porto. So now it's a photography museum. So take a look at this. You can definitely tell it was a prison. Look at this. So interesting to be in here, guys. And can you imagine they used to keep prisoners in here? And you can see the uh, giant locks that they used. Look at that. To keep people from getting out of here. Look at that. They turned it into a museum. It was once a prison, guys. Look at this. So, so interesting. Look at those doors, those prison bars. Look at that. Wow. That is solid steel, guys. You are not getting out of there. But very interesting how they use the space. And now it is a museum, guys. So let's go in. Let's take a look at it. And I'm going to show it to you from the outside as well. And let's check it out now. Now it is a photography museum. Showing off Nicholas Muller or Muller. Oh, look at this original architecture. These are pictures of Hungary and from 1934. Before the Second World War, here are some pictures from France, 1938, from Paris. Also Paris, 1939. Someone on the Eiffel Tower there. Let's take a look at some of the architecture of the building. And of course, very secure. Like I said, it once was a jail. You can see the spaces where the bars were that they take. So this is the man, Nicholas Muller. And he did a lot of the photos that we're looking at. And he's actually from Tangier, Morocco. Very interesting there. And this picture was taken in 1942. Through the prison gates, guys. Look at these doors. Look at that. Oh, wow. Those are heavy. Very heavy gates. We've got some photos of Spain here. 1952. Photos of Spain. Very interesting there. Here's a gypsy family. Could have been in Granada. Look at that photo there. One of them says it's from Cuenca. This is the writer. It says Pio Baroja. Just says Spain, 1952. And this is Tenerife, Dunes of Tenerife, 1966. More photos of Spain, Cordoba. This is Cordoba, wow. This is from Almeria and Granada. Look at that, wow. Those are definitely the cave homes of the gypsies. And these photos are from Madrid. Madrid, Spain, look at that. And we have here, also from Madrid. And it's absolutely free to come in here. I'm actually very impressed by it. And we do have some photos of Morocco also. This is Tetuan. Morocco, 1942. Tangier, Morocco, 1945. Also Morocco, 1945. Tangiers, 1944. So life in Morocco. So this is interesting here. It talks about the former prison. So the building where the Portuguese Center of Photography and Stuff began to be built in 1767, following design by Pombelin, Lisbon's architect Eugenio dos Santos Carvalho. The grand building would be a house, a prison, and court of appeal. At the ground floor were located the collective cell dungeons and paved with granite, dark, damp, and extremely cold. Accessible only through trap doors located on the floor above. Wow, that does not sound very nice. Distribution of the prisoners in these spaces follow criteria that should take into account the type of crime that had been committed the detainee's social status and ability to pay for incarceration. Wow, very interesting, guys. You also had the Cortos de Malta, conceived as individual prison cells for people with status. So that's the third floor, and the second floor were located the saloes, halls, also collective spaces, but more salubrious. So depending on your status, you would be at the lowest part of the prison, maybe even underneath here, because they said they had trap doors, and I see these stones here. Some were even moving around. 
So maybe underneath here even, it was the dungeon. Can you imagine? Wow. And all the way up there would have been the rich prisoners with the best accommodations that could pay for it. So it looks like another way to go. Quite fascinating to be inside an old Portuguese prison. It's just fascinating, guys. Look at this. More of those cells would have been there all the way up to the ceiling. So definitely a place you would not want to be in Porto. I was trying to find some marks from the prisoners, but I could not find any, unfortunately. That would have been very cool if I had found that. Okay, so this is an old camera. Penrose 1900 process camera. Wow, that is one of the originals, I guess, guys. 1900s. You needed this big, giant camera to take pictures, so it wouldn't have been that easy. Look at that. I guess that would have been the best quality at the time. So we can also go up this way. And well, I'm just fascinated by this place, this old prison in Porto. Wow, and it's right in the middle of the city. Of course, nowadays they probably move the prisoners outside of the city. So we can continue up here and we're gonna be able to see more. They are displaying some of the old cameras. Look at that, old camera styles there. This would have been actually a prison, probably a prison cell, look at this. Would not have been very comfortable. You can see where they would have had the bars, the gates. So you probably would have lived in something like this. Wow, not very nice. And look at these gates again. Look at that. Wow, they are so heavy. I can't even budge it. Unbelievable guys, look at that. And you can see here what the gates would have been like. Wow. And you would have continued up here. So probably some of these areas are blocked off. Where they would have held the prisoners. You can't go up here, so maybe up there. Look, there's actually a painting up there. Look at that. And here we actually have some wood floors. So maybe installed later. Let's see if we can see down where I was originally. Oh, they put glass here. Wow, what would it have been like to live inside of this prison? That's what I'm trying to imagine. What would life have been like in here? In those days. And Sela de las Mujeres. So I think this is the cell of the ladies. The ladies cell. Wow. Oh, and they're showing one of the women, looks like, from the prison, 1947. Look at that. Wonder what she did. Maybe killed her husband. Who knows? Very interesting. So this is where the ladies would have stayed. Wow, there's not much room in here. Maybe they didn't have too many female prisoners at the time. Definitely not a lot of space in here, guys, for more than... Maybe a dozen people to live. It would have been very compact in here. At night, they would have slammed those gates shut. And it would have been just you and these walls and the other women here. Here's one of the man prisoners. So maybe that's just a number, 867. Didn't correspond to the year. Let's see if they say anything about the year this was built. It's all in Portuguese. And here is the building from the outside. That's how it looked then. I'm gonna show it to you how it looks now. And it looks like some more prisoners we had here. So I think they're showing how they used that camera. Maybe it was that giant camera there to take pictures of the prisoners. And you see there the record they had, the criminal record and all the information about them. It would have been stored there like that with the photos. Very interesting. Looks like I can see some original drawings here. Looks like there would have been drawings there on the walls. You can see the face has been cut away, it looks like. So going higher up into the prison, I guess.
guess this is where the rich people would have been, all the way up to the top floor here. There probably would have been cells through here, obviously, at the time. They've been replaced by doors. So this was definitely part of the original, it looks like. Here are the doors that would have closed. Yeah, that is thick, heavy steel, guys. Wow, that is all solid steel, reinforced. We're not getting out of there. No chance to break out. And here is more exhibits of the cameras. Wow, look at all these old cameras. Fascinating too. So love what they've done. They've taken all these old cameras, put them in this old prison. Wow, what a great idea. I'll have to give it to these people in Portugal. Look at that. Here is the view from the top level. This would have been where the rich prisoners were housed. And now it's a museum for cameras. I wonder if they had these wood floors at the time. But those were put in after. It seems strange to me they would have wood floors for prisoners. These must have been put in later. Look at all the cameras. Wow, so many old cameras. I assume some of these are quite valuable and rare. Look at that. Look at this door. I oh, even had a little port to look out here. This definitely looked like more of the private rooms here. And you had a view of the city. Even though you were a prisoner, look at that. So you looked out there all day and imagined yourself back out free. Here we go, this is what I've been looking for. These are carved by the prisoners. Here we go guys. This is what I was looking for. Yes, you can see it there. Oh, carved by the prisoners. Oh, yes. Look at that. That is nice. So this definitely was very interesting here. Probably some original carvings there. There's something written there above the doors. Could that have been in the name of the prisoner? S. Francisco? Wow. That is interesting there. And there's some more writing on these doors. Could that actually have been the names of the prisoners? This is very interesting. It says that photographers started using very small formats since the early days of photography. In 1839, Fox Talbot, the inventor of the first negative positive photographic process, which allows making an infinite number of paper copies. Curiously enough, some of the formats that were considered small. So basically they had these mini cameras. Look at them. And they actually use these. Look at these mini cameras. That is very interesting. Look at that, you even had a tiny little case with it. That, I've never seen that. Wow, I've never seen tiny cameras. So here's the building from the outside. And those yellow painted areas were where the rich or the wealthy prisoners stayed. And on the lower floors were the poor prisoners that could not afford anything. So they had to live in the dark, damp conditions. It would have been hellish torture. Look at that. And it is here, right in the heart of Porto. And you can see where we are. Look at this, we're in this plaza. And this is that statue of that poet this woman ran away from her husband to be with him and he was actually stayed in this prison as well. And I spoke about that in another video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it like I did. I was just blown away by that place and to think about this was a prison with actual prisoners and you can still go inside of it and they've actually turned it into a museum. So, very cool place, guys. Absolutely free to go into. Highly recommended here in Porto. We'll see you in the next video. Travel Addict, a guy.
take care of you one 